Hi, my name is Dr. Valerie Camille Jones and I am a math teacher. And most of the time when people ask me about teaching math, they always say, Dr. Jones, you teach a lot of concepts that we never use. I mean, when are we ever gonna use this? Well, this video is to answer that question. When do you ever use ratios? When do you see ratios in the real world? And y'all, I'm here to tell you, it's all the time. Let's start off with the most obvious way that you use ratios pretty much every day. When it comes to cell phones, check this out. Cell phones are great and they're good for taking pictures and recording video. But you might gotta realize that there are some restrictions when it comes to posting your videos or posting your pictures on different social media platforms. Most social media platforms want you to keep your videos or your pictures in a nice little square frame. In fact, hold on a second. <laughs> you see, here I am in my cell phone with a one to one ratio. It's a square ratio, one to one. You might not have realized it. It's called an aspect ratio because it's how you're viewing your video or your pictures. And we use it all the time. Or maybe you use a ratio like this. <laughs> so check out this. This is a landscape ratio. It's wider, a 16 by nine. And this ratio is in lowest terms because there's not a factor that 16 and nine have in common. Most videographers want you to film in this ratio if you're using your cell phone, like I am right now. See, so you guys use ratios all the time. Let's think of different ways we might use ratios that don't involve cell phones. What about cooking? Oh my goodness, there are so many different ratios when you're cooking a meal, especially when you think about the recipes. It might call for one part this and one part that. It might ask you to divide things up and give this portion of the meal to these portion of people. For example, I love ordering pizza, right? Or even cooking pizza. And I always have to figure out how many slices could I give each person so that way every part of the pizza gets distributed equally. So those are great examples of ratios that you see all the time. Especially if you're like me and you like pizza. In fact, I wonder what she's cooking. I'm getting kind of hungry. Here's another example. Oh, I guess we're working out. <laughs> Have you ever tried yoga? Well, if you have, you fit this ratio because one out of four Americans have tried yoga in their life. This is another example of ratios. In fact, these type of ratios, these type of one in four or five in 10 or 10 in 100 Americans, these type of ratios are said all the time when you watch television or media because they like you to see how you relate to everyone around you. You see these kind of ratios on television all of the time. Did you realize the math that was involved with them? Needless to say, ratios in the real world are prevalent. And now that you've seen a couple, maybe the next time you see one on your TV screen, you'll think about this lesson. See you later.